Ladies and gentlemen, the 15th President and Chief Executive Officer of the Little Rock Regional Chamber of Commerce, Jay Cheshire. Thank you, thank you. I and the rest of the team are proud to work for you, and we want to thank you all for coming and ask you to be seated. It is my honor to welcome you to the 145th Annual Meeting of the Little Rock Regional Chamber of Commerce, featuring our very own Warren A. Stevens. This year's event is presented by St. Vincent Health System, represented today by its President and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Peter Banco, and the members of his outstanding team. Let's give Peter and the team a big round of applause. Our annual meeting is also presented in partnership with Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield, BKD LLP, Intergy Arkansas, the Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau, Mainstream Technologies, the McClarty Companies, RLJ McClarty Landers Automotive, the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, and Xerox of Arkansas. Please give them a big round of applause. We are also extremely honored to have the support of a record 42 Chairman Circle sponsors, member businesses and organizations that are listed in your program and on the screens behind me. At your tables are copies of the Chamber's annual report, presented this year by TC Print Solutions. Something new this year, your, your table centerpieces are by Chairman Circle sponsor Tipton and Hurst, and following this event, the Chamber will be donating the beautiful holiday arrangements to one of our members, honored this year as a Chamber founder, the Salvation Army, which will distribute them to nearly 100 families throughout our region. We also have some very special guests joining us this morning. Please welcome with me the brand new music director of the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra, Mr. Philip Mann and his wife, Tatiana. Throughout the audience and concentrated to my left, we are honored by the presence of many of our former chamber chairmen. Let's give them a round of applause. We're also blessed today to have Pulaski County Judge Buddy Valines, as well as Little Rock Mayor Mark Stodola and North Little Rock Mayor Pat Hayes, I, see, I believe I saw Pat earlier today. Let's give them a big round of applause. And my partner across the river, the president of the North Little Rock Chamber of Commerce, let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, Terry Hartwick, for being here. Last but not least, a group of people that work for your Chamber of Commerce all year long, the Chamber Ambassadors. We have the Chamber Ambassador of the Year with us today. You can read about her impressive service in your annual report, but please give a big, rowdy congratulations to our Ambassador of the Year from NetGain Technologies, Christy Bennett. That's a good reason why America's fourth strongest economy didn't just happen again. For the second year in a row, that's where the Brookings Institution's Metro Monitor ranked our region. The Wall Street Journal also ranked Little Rock as the nation's sixth best real estate market, while Forbes called it America's seventh best place for jobs. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis lauded the Little Rock Chamber of Commerce, your chamber, and the Metro Little Rock Alliance as critical in working together to create jobs. We're going to celebrate that today, and we're going to celebrate not only what's happened in the past year and the past few years, but celebrate what's coming up. Following our invocation and national anthem, we ask that you please enjoy your lunch, your conversation, and the year in the life of the chamber on our screens. After this, we will be accompanied by the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra Rockefeller Quartet for your enjoyment during lunch. Our program will begin in approximately 20 minutes. To deliver our invocation today, please welcome with me from the First United Methodist Church in Little Rock, the Reverend Dr. Michael Maddox. Reverend?
I invite you to bow together with me in prayer. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. At the opening of this annual celebration, we pause to acknowledge your presence, your name, and your greatness, which many amongst us believe is absolutely pivotal to anything that we might call success. We are a community whose stories reach back nearly two centuries, traders and merchants, settlers and immigrants, natives and newcomers, some brought here against their will and some booted out but still nearby and unnoticed. And here at the close of the first decade of the 21st century, we gather as a diverse community that seeks to become one of America's great cities, one of our country's leading communities. Too often, O oh God, we are tempted to measure our successes by looking at balance sheets and profit margins. Too often we are seduced into thinking that bigger is better. But truth be told, the real measure of success in the human community is revealed in the holy writings of the Quran, the Torah, the Bible, and other sacred writ. And there we find that success is marked by measure of how the community, the human community, is doing. And that measure, that barometer, that gauge of our real success would indicate that all is not well until all are well. Or put another way, all are well when all are well. That means that what happens downtown is related to what happens out west. That what happens in the eastern part of our community affects the southern part of our community. And on and on, all are not well until all are well. Giant strides have been made just in the past 15 years in our beloved community, but we still have work to do. Bridges have been restored and reconfigured across our beautiful river, but bridges have yet to be built across the chasm between the haves and the have-nots. Those of us living charmed lives in spacious places overlooking these bridges must find a way to humanely and lovingly engage those living under those bridges. All is not well until all are well. Yes, there's plenty for a chamber like ours to do. Much work left to be done to ensure the true success of our human family. So undergird us, loving and watchful creator and sustainer, for your work yet to be done. Thank you for your power and sustaining grace in the life of our President Barbara, and supply that same kind of grace to Hugh in the year to come. And if any here today lack a vision, Grant them a new vision of what a truly great community can be. And in granting these new visions, make us always mindful of the gift of diversity. In the name of the Holy One amongst us, unseen but powerfully present, I pray. Amen. Please rise for the national anthem performed by Broadway star and Philander Smith College Associate Professor of Humanities and Director of Cultural Affairs, Little Rock's own, Lawrence Hamilton. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the Bursting in air, gay proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that Scots mangled banner yet wave for the land?
please welcome the 2010 Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Little Rock Regional Chamber of Commerce, from Barbara Graves Intimate Fashions, Barbara Graves.